So this is rolling resistance barley, one of the kind. <laughs> so what we're, doing, what we're demonstrating here is the force that's required to keep barley in place here. Stop it rolling backwards off this slope. And you can see here it's about uh, 25 grams, is it? Well, it's 0.25 newtons anyway. So that's the force required to stop barley rolling off. And you can see I'm going quite slowly here. As I speed it up, the sort of peaks become greater as the bumps become more impactful. But the rolling resistance stays about the same. The roll resistance uh, will stay about the same pretty much no matter what speed you're at, unless you start going at crazy speeds. However, once we introduce air resistance, it gets a bit more complicated. So you can see now as this spins up, there we go. So we've gone from being at about 25 grams, now we're up to about 50 grams, or 0.5 newtons of force. So even though the air speed is very slow, I mean, if you move your hand here, you can feel it's going at about that speed. But, you know, certainly not, uh, not fast enough to have an appreciable impact if you were actually cycling. But it's e equaling, if not slightly more than, the rolling resistance produced by some fairly inefficient wheels, some plastic, uh, plastic stabilizers, and all the other sort of uh, elements of friction that we're producing here. So this is just a demonstration to allow us to separate rolling resistance from air resistance and to show that air resistance has a far greater impact than lots of people tend to think it does.